the simulation will occasionally throw you a curveball. Murder Mystery 2, Netflix's follow-up to the completely worthless 2019 Adam Sandler Jennifer Aniston comedy Murder Mystery, looks about as imaginative as its title. Sandler and Aniston reprise their roles as husband and wife Nick and Audrey Spitz, two New Yorkers who were up in the thick of a wealthy European family's blood-soaked inheritance hijinks in the previous film and sought to solve the case. They've now started their own not-so-successful private investigation agency and are practically bankrupt, so when they're invited to the wedding of their billionaire buddy Vikram, Adil Akhtar, one of the few survivors from the previous film, they seize the opportunity. Given the first murder mystery's half-hearted, point-and-shoot approach, it's reasonable to expect very little from its sequel. Sandler doesn't usually make live-action sequels, the only one I can recall was Grown Ups 2, which was one of the worst movies I've ever seen. And, by all appearances, Murder Mystery 2 appears to be another of the star producer's efforts to take himself and his pals on a studio-paid vacation. The first part of the film is set on a beautiful but unremarkable island, it was shot in Hawaii, and the second in Paris. But, in an era when even the most expensive film's idea of an exotic location is either an enormous LED screen in Burbank or a converted parking lot in Atlanta, the idea of Sandler and friends traveling to another part of the world is refreshing. As does the enjoyable spectacle of movie stars being movie stars. Each feels like a perfect embodiment of a specific strain of celebrity, with Sandler in full untucked Beardo's love mode and Aniston looking like she's been kept in bubble wrap since 1999, you can create a complete inner life and background for both personas. Nick and Audrey are well aware of each other's flaws, yet they are also protective, kind, and trustworthy. Their squabbles are continuous yet lighthearted. Each is aware of the other's boundaries. They feel more like a real married couple than they did in Murder Mystery. The new film is more about moods than storyline. Murder Mystery 2's murder and mystery are not noteworthy, but the film commits in other ways. This time, the throwaway comic parts really work. Many of its dumb little gags had me laughing out loud, such as Nick's obsession with a specific type of cheese served at the wedding, the cheese has a hold on me one character's constant references to his sexual prowess, and some grisly fun with an axe stuck in a random goon's head. I said the gags were stupid. Director Jeremy Gerlich, who adds a visual refinement to the film that the first lacked, appears to have an eye for physical humor and a good sense of rhythm. He is also adept at dealing with action. The picture gets off after our protagonists arrive in Paris, complete with dramatic, and genuinely humorous, beatdowns, and automobile chases. In the first film, the low point was a car chase that might have been shot using Zoom. Netflix France has established itself in recent years with a good run of no-nonsense, stunt-based action pictures, and one has to wonder whether any of that charm has rubbed off on this production as well. Either that, or Sandler wanted to give this action comedy thing one more go, before he was too old for it. There was no need for this film to be enjoyable, the Netflix algorithm will provide you this content even if you never requested for it. Maybe that's the key to the film's allure. Murder Mystery 2 understands where it belongs. It does not need you to drive somewhere or part with any of your hard-earned money. It's entirely a Netflix film, and as such, it's intended to be viewed while you clean the dishes, fold the clothes, or tally up your amassed pocket change and put it into those small paper tubes provided by the bank. However, it is a time filler rather than a time waster. It's a film full of modest pleasures, but they're pleasant ones. <laughs>